Spiky, have you ever paid attention to your breathing? Hmm, not really. It happens on its own, day in, day out, so I never pay attention to it. You breathe 24 hours a day, even when you sleep. Do you know what happens to the air that you breathe in? And do you know the difference between the air you breathe in and the air you breathe out? No, but I want to know. Is the air that I breathe in the same as the air that I breathe out? Let's take a closer look at the amazing process that we call breathing. The inhalation and exhalation of air is called breathing. Inhalation is the act of taking air into the lungs and exhalation is the act of breathing air out of the lungs. When we inhale, we take in oxygen and when we exhale, we release carbon dioxide. Breathing happens automatically. But why do we need oxygen? In order to stay alive and perform different functions, our body needs oxygen all the time. This inhaled oxygen is used by the cells of our body to release energy stored within food through a process called respiration. The chemical process of converting food into energy with the help of oxygen is called respiration. Carbon dioxide is also produced as a byproduct of this chemical process. Put simply, the body uses oxygen to change food into energy for the body and carbon dioxide is then removed through exhalation. The respiratory system is what we call the set of organs that work together to carry out respiration. The major parts of the respiratory system are the nose, larynx, trachea, and the lungs. How does the oxygen reach the cells? Well, the organs responsible for transferring oxygen into the bloodstream are the lungs. Our body contains a pair of lungs. Lungs are spongy structures situated within the ribcage. Oxygen enters our lungs as part of the air that we breathe. In the lungs, oxygen gets into the bloodstream. This oxygen-rich blood then goes to the heart, which pumps it to all parts of our body. Our cells use this oxygen to produce energy through the process of respiration. Alongside energy, this process also produces carbon dioxide. Blood vessels take carbon dioxide from all parts of the body back to the lungs. From there, it is exhaled out of the body because too much carbon dioxide is harmful for the body. So, what is the difference between inhaled air and exhaled air? Now I know. Exhaled air contains more carbon dioxide than inhaled air. Exhaled air also contains less oxygen. Good! You are right! Let's do an exercise. Which statement is incorrect? A. Breathing is a physical process and consists of inhalation and exhalation. B. Respiration is a chemical process where food in the body is broken down to release energy with the help of oxygen and carbon dioxide is produced? Or C. Exhaled air contains more oxygen than inhaled air. Breathing is the process of inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. Hence, statement A is correct. Respiration is the chemical process by which oxygen is taken into the body and then transported to cells through the blood and used in a reaction to release energy from food along with the production of carbon dioxide. Therefore, statement B is also correct. Oxygen that we breathe in is used in the process of respiration. Carbon dioxide is produced as a result of this process which is then exhaled out of the body. This means that the air we breathe out has more carbon dioxide than oxygen.
Hence, statement C is incorrect. To summarize, the inhalation and exhalation of air is called breathing. Respiration is the process by which food is broken down in our bodies to release energy. The respiratory system is responsible for carrying out respiration. The major parts of the respiratory system are the nose, larynx, trachea, and the lungs.